good morning everybody welcome back to vlogmas today we are going cozy and casual how cute is this outfit i have been waiting to wear this jumper and finally i was like you know what today's the day it's all fleecy and cozy and it's just the warmest thing so today's gonna be a great day i thought we would head off this morning to the grocery store obviously my hello fresh came yesterday so i know what i've got for the week and i know what else i need to go and get and then i thought we would sort my makeup and i finally want to put some christmas bedding on the bed i don't know why it's taken me this long but that's what i would like to do but I, it's not like the most no it is christmasy but it's not like i don't know you'll see i mean i put my quilt on to film my gift guide i just like laid it over my white sheets and it brought me so much joy and then i just haven't like committed to the actual you know sheets i just keep putting my white ones back on but today we're gonna do that but i think we should head to the grocery store before it gets too busy i also want to find myself a nice little like pan of chocolate and a coffee and then we'll come back and we will get sorting i need need all my makeup to go away today i actually also need to figure out which drawer i'm going to put my hair tools in I need to figure that out really oh and before we get into the vlog i have to give my shout out if you are new here please do me a huge favor and subscribe there is so much more vlogmas left and if you're not new then please give this video a like it means the world a like goes such a long way and if you're feeling fancy leave me a comment you know i reply okay right I need to find my bags and then we will go to the grocery store. I also need a jacket. I think I'm going to wear my barber jacket, which I think, oh, I could wear my white Montclair. But every time I wear that, I get super scared that I'm going to get makeup on it. So that's more of like a no makeup kind of coat because it's not the easiest thing to wash. I have to take it to the cleaners if I get it dirty. So for today, we are doing the barber. I hope it fits over this thick jumper i mean it is a men's coat yeah it's fine <laughs> i'm a bit squeezed but it's fine this is uh very cute okay right let's go so we have bertha brown sauce scrambled eggs i'm gonna do some mozzarella on top and then i have some jam it's the most random combo but it's so good and whilst i eat this i'm going to sit and write my grocery shopping list but <laughs> this is so gross to some people a little bit of jam a little bit of egg and a little bit of cheese Mm, I'm gonna let the cheese melt for a moment. Okay, I'm here. I have my bags. You know the best bag for shopping is one of these. It's an Adenola tote. But I'm gonna go and try and smash this out. It only opened 20 minutes ago, so it shouldn't be too busy. But London, so who knows? <laughs> they usually have these carrots in like a selection of different colors. And I'm so sad. I don't want to get the boring orange ones. I really wanted to get the multicolored ones. They're so great just to, actually any of this, to dip in hummus. I'm going to grab some onions so I can make some more French onion soup. But I think I'm gonna get some red onions as well. I really, no, I can't go to HomeSense actually because I have food that has to go in the fridge. I bought a piece of ham or gammon, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna do a roast ham. And that to me is just so festive. We have that on Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. And it's like one of my favorite things we do at Christmas. So I wanted to recreate that like earlier on in the season. But you know what I really want? I would love a pan of chocolate from the Dusty Knuckle in Dalston, but not today. I'll go like on a Wednesday or like a Thursday or something like that when it's like quiet i feel like any other day of the week and it will be absolute carnage so not for me not not for me okay we're going to home sense i feel like if i leave it any later there'll be no wrapping paper left no cards left i've done most of my cards actually but i also want to go and look at the christmas decorations and again there will be none left i feel like they are so far in advance there's probably all the new year's things in already but we're going wow i just got so lucky with this space i don't know how i just did that it was also a very scary space to park into but it's one of those retail parts where it's like one in one out and i actually don't know how i managed that okay so tk max and home sense can you see right there i was trying to think on the way here what i am actually looking for pra like being practical so definitely wrapping paper definitely any like cute little christmasy bits i need a chopping board and i'm just thinking if there's any other like utensils i need like a ladle a spoon you know and Mm, sensible. Mm. All right, let's do this. I hope it's not too busy. I don't have a tree top up. This seems like ridiculously unnecessary, but I kind of love them. Okay, they have so much more than I thought they would have. I mean, it's not really my vibe, but there's no, this is more my vibe. Ooh, they have garlands left. 
They had so many more of these earlier in the season. Oh my goodness, look at the gardening gloves. Do I garden? No. Do I want them? Absolutely. I feel like these are a great gift. How much are they? It doesn't say. $2.99. This is cute. I've never seen anything like this in here before. I feel like I would genuinely have that on my kitchen counter. Look, they've got a striped one too. They're like £14. <gasps> is this love heart pasta? Oh no, it's bows. I was going to say. This is what I'm looking for. I literally need like a spoon like this. There's so many. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I want a pretty one, but... Mm, um, I don't want to get things like unnecessarily, you know? You know what? I think I'm just going to get this because as much as I'm not the biggest fan that they're plastic, at least I can put them in the dishwasher. And I'd rather have this than one that's got like a silicone bottom and then wood, but I can't take it off. All my silicone things at home like this, I can take the bottom bit off, therefore I can put it in the dishwasher. I just like to know that I can. Mmm, I need a chopping board, but most of these are like display boards. Ah. This is what we had at home. You know what? My mum's chopping board I bought her for Christmas one year and it's actually from Emma Bridgewater and it's gorgeous. She said just get a big wooden one, but I need something for meat. Oh, cute. They have the yellow batter bowl. I feel like I should keep my eye out in case they have any like Christmassy Le Creuset. This should not excite me as much as it does. Like genuinely, this just brings me so much joy. It's just, you know, Tupperware. But how exciting. Oh, they have so much Emma Bridge water. Look at the size of that. I feel like that would be so handy. <gasps> no, this is what I bought last time, but I got the round ones. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, I should look at baskets for my wardrobe. Gosh, look at all the hangers. I feel like they're cheaper on Amazon, but I. Oh, maybe the baskets are over there. I'm looking for the dog things. Here we go. This is sweet. Love a Morrison Co bed. I mean, he's sleeping on a blanket right now, which is actually his preference, but I feel like I should get him a bed just so he's got the choice. I mean, I don't know if he'll use it, but I might get this one for the drawing room because it actually, well, it doesn't match, but it's the same color palette as the lampshades. They're, they're Morrison Co as well, but I don't know whether to get the big one or the small one. He is the type of dog that would prefer something smaller to curl up on. He doesn't like to feel, so I think I will get the small one. Okay, I found the baskets, but the question is, is there going to be enough of the same? I'm thinking no. These are cute. Look at all the crackers. I feel like I should get them. These are definitely all going to sell out. Gorgeous, I love those. Oh, this is quite cute. It's boucle on top and then wood. Look at these. They're massive. I think you get all three. And the bottom one, like the big one, has wheels on it. They've got a ton of beauty gift sets. Look at the minis. Oh, they're so cute. All the men's gifts. They've got so many slippers. Oh, these look quite cool. The movie quiz. Girls only. So many good games. Race to escape. I feel like these are just great for stocking fillers, aren't they? Look at that, the all-seeing eye. Oh my goodness, they even have Christmas jumpers. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. All the children's gifts. A lot of these are under 10 pounds. Oh, that looks cool. See, I would have loved that. I would have got it out on Christmas day, made an absolute mess, and then regretted my decision. <laughs> oh, these are great. Self-care gifts, jigsaws. Oh, this is so cute. They've still got so much. So if you were thinking of coming, it's definitely still worth it. There's so many gifts. They've got socks. Oh, slipper socks. They're such a solid gift. A ton of kind of men's socks. Batman. Firstly, and most importantly, let's see what he thinks. Let me pull the labels off. Oh, it looks so cute. I love the clashing patterns. I mean, obviously it won't be there, but let's see what he thinks. What's this? Is it for Cody? It's for Cody. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, it's the perfect size. Good boy. It's for Cody. Good boy. Sit down. Take it. Yay. I got you a toy. TK Maxx is one of the best places to buy poo bags for dogs. They're really well priced. And they do the small ones that you put in their leads. I need to stop hyping him up. What is it? Let me cut it. Ready, can you, can you sit down? Ready, take it. It's for Cody, it's for Cody. What is it? Why is it that they always want to be on, like it's, it's an old towel and that's where he's spending all his time. He's got a blanket, he's got another, this is John Lewis. <laughs> this is Primark, he loves this. It's a Winnie the Pooh one, but 
Yeah, on the old towel. So my friends, it is time to make the ham. I am just gonna go for it. I mean, I don't have everything that I would like oh, to have to make this whole recipe, but you know what? I think it's fine. I'm just going to rough, well, there you go, Codes. You know what's really funny? Before Max passed away, Cody would never eat carrots, whereas Max loved carrots. Yet since Max has passed away, Cody will demolish carrots, but I don't know where it came from because even when Cody used to live with me before he moved in with my parents, he would never eat them. So it's very strange. I don't know where that's come from, but I'm just popping some carrots, some red onion, some white onion and then some celery into my the crusade and then on top of that i'm going to put some herbs I'm going to put the ham i know a lot of people i know if i don't mention this i'm going to get so many comments i know it's a very common thing now to make the coca-cola ham which we have had one year at christmas and it was really really good something you don't expect to be that good however today i am not going to do that and I'm just going to cover it in cold water. And this is another perk of having my tap. I need like a netted bag. I don't want to tie it together with a... Hmm. Isn't it funny that until you get going and using your space, your kitchen, you just don't know what you have and what you don't have? Okay, well, I have to figure it out. Some peppercorns and then the ham. I love how I've gotten home and immediately the chopping board has been washed and used. I just think it's brilliant. Also, yes, I'm doing this on the counter. I'd rather wash the counter than the board. Oh, this is going to taste amazing. So I'm just going to fill this with water. Okay, and on it goes. I just had to move the veggies around a bit. So I'm not gonna give you a complete TK Maxx haul because it's, you know, tis the season. But what I did get is some wrapping paper. This I think was 2 dollars and it's got dinosaurs on, but dinosaurs with Christmas hats. And when I tell you, with the younger people in my family, this is going to go down a storm. Oh gosh. And then I also saw this, but they had it in with the brown backing paper as well. But it was like, there was one and it was opened and you know what it's like, and then there wasn't any more. So I picked up this. This one was 12 dollars And to be honest, there's so much, how long is this? It says you can wrap 40 gifts with it. It is 18 meters squared of wrapping paper. This will do me for most people. And then I also got some tree decorations. These are from Lidl. And they're the Cadbury ones. And these just remind me so much of childhood. And I just want to put them on my tree because I know when my friends come over, these will be a real crowd pleaser. Although I have been getting rinsed about the fact that I have a bear tree, which I get, but at the same time, I'm a fan. But I also got this one, which again was 2 dollars It's just got a little snowman on. And then I got ah, some whisks because I don't own a whisk and it's leaving me with lumpy sauces. And then I got this pack, as I showed you. I got this chopping board for meat. And then I obviously got the big chopping board that I've started using already. And then I got some gifts as well. So I would say, all in all, it was an incredibly successful trip. And I thought it was so almost didn't go. And I'm so glad I did. I just thought it would be absolute chaos, which it was, but isn't everywhere this time of year, you know? You just gotta suck it up and get on with it. And it's like part of the atmosphere. Please tell me I'm not the only person that's so heavily associates these chocolates with Christmas. Not necessarily the round, well, oh, these aren't round, like spherical ones, but the, oh, he's found a good spot, but he's itching. But the square ones we used, and oh, what were the ones that used to have caramel in? Was it these Cadbury ones that some of them had caramel? I just remember my grandma having them. And then we used to have like a few, but nothing that exciting. And then we used to go to my grandma's house and every time that we went and we ate them all, she would replenish them and it was just that other really magical part of Christmas. So this feels very fitting. Um, I'm not gonna put them too low. Not that Cody would even try and eat them, but just to be safe. Hello. Mm. He went on his bed. Uh, he went, he had a sniff. He spun around and sat down and looked at me as if to say, what is this and why did you buy it? <laughs> He'll get used to it. And if not, 
Your towel will still be in the kitchen. I promise, it's not going anywhere. Honestly, I might just scrap the whole bauble idea and just get a ton of Christmas chocolates and just fill it with different chocolates. I actually think that's a really great idea. <laughs> Oh, look at it. Okay, my friends, it's been a couple of hours. My ham is ready to go into the oven and roast. My roast potatoes are in the oven and I'm going to drain my stock and put that just in like a killer jar or something because that's what I'm going to use maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after to make some French onion soup. But I also, whilst it's cooking, want to make some pudding. I think I'm just gonna do some stuffed dates. That's what I'm really in the mood for. And this is my dinner. It looks so good. I've obviously got the honey roast ham. I've got some carrots, roast potatoes. Potatoes, Brussels sprouts and some broccoli and of course I'm going to drown it in gravy. That was divine and now these are my leftovers for lunch tomorrow so I'm basically going to have the same thing for lunch but it was so so good and I'm actually so okay with that but this is your sign that even if you live alone doesn't mean you shouldn't do it it's worth it and you only have to cook the elements of a roast dinner that you actually like and you can cook them in exactly the way you like as well. So I'm having a little well not a little it's quite a big yogurt bowl for dessert. I am very much in the mood for this and then I'm going to take Cody on a walk so I need to make sure that I'm energised. So I'm going to do some apple sauce. All of my teaspoons are in <laughs> the dishwasher. So we're using a fork. Apple sauce is something that I never used to keep in my house. And now I have it, I wouldn't be without it because before we've opened it, you can just keep it in the pantry. So I always have a few jars and it's so good just to put on top of porridge, on top of yogurt, you can put it in things. I've got some strawberry jam. I'm getting through jam at the moment like it's nobody's business. Mm. A tiny bit of cinnamon, which is on half. Some cashew butter, yummy. This is honestly, it tastes like a big fat apple pie with raspberries or I don't know, it's good. I might get some blackcurrant jam next. That way I can do apple and blackcurrant. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna do some flaxseed and this one is flaxseed, sunflower, pumpkin, chia and goji berries and it's really good. And then on top of that, just some uh, protein choco crunch from M&S and I'm also, this is a big bowl, okay? It's yummy. Some honey roasted cashews. And this is my dream yogurt bowl. I am so full and satisfied, I feel amazing. I'm going to let my food go down for a little bit and then I will take my little man on a stroll. So we didn't get around to doing the makeup. Well, we could do the makeup today, but then I'm just gonna be up far too late. So we can do that tomorrow. What is even on my calendar tomorrow? I got that satisfied feeling where I just want to go and curl up and have a nap. But no, because then I won't sleep. Come on, angel boy, let's go find a hoodie. I love it so much. Can't wait for my sofas to get here so I can actually sit in here with him, with the TV. Actually, I'm gonna try and get that mounted in the next couple of days. Hello. You know what time it is, don't you? The leggings are on and he's like, let's, let's get moving. Can you show them your new bed? Good boy. What do you think to it then? You like it? You are right, it is that time of day. We're on the same routine, aren't we? Bless you. Right, let's go find me a hoodie, come on. Also, I definitely think it is finally bath time tonight. I need to pick out some products. I will definitely use those. I want to find like a lavender fragrance, like relaxing bath oil. Not being dramatic, but I do think I'm going to have to double layer the trousers with something else. Um. These will do. I'm going to look like a total idiot. I hate wearing these out the house. These are my Santa Cruz, uh, like they're like pajama bottoms, but they are joggers. But yes, I don't think wearing two pairs of leggings on top of each other is probably that sensible. So we'll go with this. And then I'm going to do a navy jumper. This is a Columbia one that I got. You know what? I actually got this from a website that does job lots of vintage jumpers. I bought it for a YouTube video and I spent like $400 and I got like 20 or something ridiculous like that. And they were so bad, there was probably only two good ones that I didn't even want to make the YouTube video because I was like, that's just not even that exciting. Like I started filming it and everything. And then when we got to about like 10 in and they were all bad, I was like, I can't post this. This is the fit. I need a hat. Mm, my hat's downstairs. I also found my gloves last night as well and they are touch sensitive gloves so I can go on my phone, it's so good. That was a really lovely dinner. 
I do think it is really important that even when you live alone that you do make the effort to cook for yourselves like things like that I as a person would eat the same thing every single day and be absolutely fine with it I could eat salmon and eggs for breakfast I would have some kind of like meat and veg for lunch or usually fish for lunch with a veg and then dinner I would have like something that I've had tonight and yeah I could happily eat that seven nights a week but variety is so important and I think it's doing things differently that makes your world feel bigger you know but anyway I'm off to go and send my grandma a picture of my roast because she would be very proud of me and I will gladly take the validation <laughs> you guys I got blown around like no tomorrow out there I'm trying to fix my makeup because it was it wasn't raining but you know when it's like speckling and the wind blows it into your face I got back and my lashes were just straight but I am topping my makeup up and I need to pick an outfit. I need to fix my hair. Look! The wind blew all of the shape out of it. Uh, because tonight is the Prince's Trust Carol concert. And it's a really nice one because it's really early and it finishes like by 8 pm. I'll be done. So I still have time to come home and go for a bath. But yes. I need to pick an outfit. I'm really excited. I think this is going to make me feel like insanely festive. Although I will just let you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything because there is a no photography and videography rule inside. So I'll probably be able to get some bit outside, but if there's suddenly nothing going on in my vlog inside, it's at St. Paul's. If there's nothing going on inside the cathedral, um, just know that's why I, yes. Oh, that lash does not look good. Just looking clumpy. Maybe we pick the outfit and I'll fix the hair around the outfit because I don't know if I'm gonna do a bow or what. I think I want to wear just some black boots, long coat dress. Actually, maybe I do brown. I have this gorgeous cashmere dress from Reformation that I love the idea of wearing, but I'm like, is it an all black scenario? Maybe I do all black. Actually, I might do the all black so then I can do a Reformation cashmere dress. Uh, I can do my cute little YSL belt and then I can do just some boots and then the black, <laughs> the black coat that I have that I never wear. I mean, my preference would be my white Sandra coat, but I don't think I can do all black and then white. So I think I will. Oh, I need to find a t-shirt to put under this as well. Something that will keep me warm. I'm questioning whether I should get the other option out though because it's long sleeved. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna layer up on top of this. Okay, I've gone double cashmere. I've got my cashmere vest top from Massimo underneath. Don't think you can see it, no. And then this is cashmere, so this will keep me warm. I'm going to put some leggings underneath because no one's gonna see it because I'll be doing boots and then we'll like <laughs> layer a cardigan under the coat. In fact, I was going to do my uh, YSL belt, but I think I might do this Ralph Lauren one. It's actually reversible, so it's brown on one side, black on the other. And then the, the clasp, what do you call it? It just uh, flips. Very cute. Love it. Okay, this is the look, plus the boots. I'm just gonna pop the coat on with a cardigan, just for extra warm. And I'm actually not going to take a bag. They have bag restrictions anyway, and I think it's just easier not to. And then hair-wise, I mean, I guess I'm just having it wind sweat. By the time I get there anyway, it will be crazy because I have to walk a bit. Or don't know, maybe I put it back. Much better, just a cute little half up. I mean, it's a very, very small gap between looking good and feeling good and uh, being warm. <laughs> and I'm home. <laughs> it was so good. I wasn't allowed to film anything or take any photos in there. But oh my goodness, when I tell you that was the most magical way to make myself feel so festive. If you guys don't know about the Prince's Trust, I, I'll link their website down below if you have five minutes, go and have a nosy. But basically, they're one of those charities that I just feel so passionate about because I have seen firsthand the change. I, I know people who have had help from the Trust. I've met people who've been programs at the trust and genuinely the work they do has changed their lives and I just think that's so important so it was really nice to be able to go and support them tonight it was really cool there were some really amazing readings and it was just a lovely way to spend like you know my early evening but now it's now it's bath time I'm so excited to get all of this makeup off and have my first freaking bath hair can you believe it just done a quick 10 minute tidy downstairs the kitchen is spotless <laughs> it's the best feeling but this is what i was looking for the dr teal soothe and sleep with lavender and i just thought this would be lovely i've got like fresh pajamas fresh dressing gown fresh sheets so you know it's gonna feel amazing i should shave my legs really <laughs> okay let's put the plug in this is so exciting Oh, okay, it's going great. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just going to do some of this Dr. Teal Soothing Sleep. And then some of these Epsom salts. These are the West Lab ones. So I've never really been a bath person, but it's something that I'd really love to be able to learn to enjoy because I think they're so good for you. I just, I get in there. I get really excited about running them. Tell me if you like this too. And I'm like, oh, I'll pick a bubble bath, I'll pick a bath bomb, a face mask. I get so hyped. And then I get in there, I sit down and I go, what now? And I genuinely sit there for a matter of minutes and I'm like, I just don't really know what I do now. You know? But I do think it's something that I really should learn to enjoy. I'm going to love you and meet you and hop in the bath and I'll catch up with you after. Well, that was wonderful. I now have my little Christmas pajamas on. And I, when I was going through my new in products the other day, I came across this. Some Origins, their peace of mind on the spot relief. And also, this medicate one yes blemish blue blue, blue blemish sos let's try this one i have spots right now my skin itself is doing really well but then there's just blemishes and it's a bit annoying so i thought for the first time ever i would actually do something about it normally i just leave them okay after cleansing morning or evening news rub it in and allow it to dry so oh why do they all smell like tea tree? Like, is this just tea tree oil that like your mum would tell you to buy from Superdrug at 13 when you got your first spot? Is it the same thing? We'll see. I also just put tanning drops on. So if I have like white splotches where I'm not tanned in the morning, you know why? And just for an extra bit of hydration, I'm going to do my L'Oreal Revital Filler. This is a brand new one because I used my other one up. This is so good. You like a gel cream? It's insane. Oh, it feels so good. Again, don't know if I should be putting this over the spots. And the fragrance that I'm going to wear to bed, because yes, I do that. I like something quite fresh, but not fruity. Here we go, English Pear and Sweet Pea from Jo Malone. It's the perfect fresh pajamas scent. I wish they did a fabric conditioner or even just a fabric spray in that scent. I would spray it all over my bed. Okay, my friends, I am going to love you and leave you. I'm going to head up to bed and sit and reply to a ton of your comments. So if you want to chat, head over to the comments and I will see you there. And yeah, if you haven't already, please give this video a massive thumbs up and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.